Well, a student in Saline County is doing her part to make sure her classmates have a very memorable homecoming. I love this talk. I do too, so much. In, in fact, it has me a little bit inspired too on clothes. All right. Mm -hmm. I like to help out. Brooke Slyer spent some time at Carrier Mill Stoneford High School to learn about the project, and she joins us in the studio to tell us more. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, the school's homecoming is returning after it had be canceled last year because of COVID-19. Senior Ari Guyton wants the dance to be a night to remember with no stress on students or their parents leading up to that special occasion. And here how, here's how she's stepping in to do that. Material is definitely different. Um, I feel like it has a good back and I feel like a lot of girls would like that. Dresses, lots of dresses, around 40 of them silver, pink, blue, but none of them are for Ari Guyton. Instead, they'll go to other girls at Carrier Mills Stonefort High School who want to attend homecoming, but their family might not be able to afford it. So we've heard about food insecurity and different co clothing insecurities, and I just thought it'd be a good idea if we started a dress pantry. So the high school senior went to teacher Kathy Matthews, who she's been close to for three years, to stitch up a plan. Ari's a very open person and likes to, you know, talk and she's concerned about others. And so on our trips to speech tournaments, we talk about everything and anything. The duo received permission from the superintendent to put out flyers around the school and next on social media asking for dress donations. And the response was just overwhelming. And most of our dresses were donated. We had a few that were bought and some that they just wanted to let the girls borrow. The dresses are in a classroom, so students can discreetly ask the teacher to try them on and get permission from their parents to take them home. One student in particular that called her parent and they just over the phone kept saying thank you, thank you, thank you. That's not the only way Guyton wants to make students feel special for this year's homecoming which had to be canceled last year because of COVID-19. So we also offered um, different services such as helping with hair and nails and makeup, um, just for the overall experience to be good, because um, those things could add up also. Students have already come forward willing to volunteer their skills and time to help with those final touches. I just love pink. I just feel like this is gonna, like, would be good for like the springtime, like for prom. The hope is to continue collecting dresses so girls can have some options for prom, which will be the first in two years, as well as possibly giving back to students at surrounding high schools. I know that they, people say that you can't save the world, but just making a little impact feels really good to me. Well, with all of these ladies getting ready for the dance on February 5th, what about the fellas? They're also in need of some help. I'll tell you how you can fill that gap at 630. But for now, Katie, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you. We are both wearing uh, dresses this morning. A little cold for that. Oh, it's very cold. When I came in this morning, I had a sweatshirt over top of this as well as my winter coat. I mean, it's really chilly out. It's not as cold as it was yesterday. It's not like a hit you in the face type of cold, but still cold. 